I went to Somerset, New Jersey to buy a comic book collection and see a baseball game. All right, guys. Yes, I drove all the way down to New Jersey to pick up a collection before we get into any part of this video. Big shout out. Huge thank you, Anthony Volpe and family. You guys are amazing. Some of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. And a huge, 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 huge thank you for another amazing experience. I absolutely love going to games. And it's even better when you know somebody on the field. Absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. Can't say it enough. Can't, I, I just can't say it enough. It's so much fun. Um, for you guys... Who don't know, I'm a huge baseball fan, huge Yankee fan. Uh, Somerset Patriots are the AA affiliate. And we're going to get a little bit of baseball in this video. So we are going to talk about comic books as well. That's probably the priority and the main point of this video. So this seller uh, was from Jersey. I'm in New York. I went down to Somerset. He came up to Somerset. And we made a deal. We, uh, we're going to go through a bunch of the books. There's a lot to talk about. This is going to be a long video, so I do apologize. Uh, some of you guys like the longer videos. Some of you don't. We're going to over, go over everything. And again, we are going to talk price and uh, a lot of books. So without further ado, oh, you know, check the description down below. You know what to do. What not. Instagram. Twitter. Give me a follow. Very Gary Comics. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. You know all that stuff. Anyway, we're getting into it. We're getting to the car. And we are heading all the way down to Somerset, New Jersey. All right, guys, we are heading down to Somerset, New Jersey, right? Somerset, is that Somerset, the town? New Jersey. We're gonna go look at a collection. I'm with my friend, Mike. He's wearing pinstripes because we're also going to see my man, Anthony Volpe play for the Somerset Patriots, which still hurts that I have to say Patriots, but whatever. Um, I'm not positive what's in this collection. I did get a list. Uh, the seller was coming up from southern Jersey, and just out of sheer coincidence, we're on our way down to, what is it, almost northern central Jersey, Somerset? It's Probably like northern, right? Northern, northern, northern Jersey. Northern. So it just wor happened to work out well. We'll see what's in the collection, and if we can take it home, and if the Patriots get a W. All right, guys, so the collection went well. We couldn't record going through it, because um, the seller was in a rush. We were in a rush, because we had to come here. We were about to go watch the Somerset Patriots at my man Anthony Volpe against uh, who are they playing? Hartford Yard Goats. Hard, the, Hard, the Hartford Yard Goats. So, um, all right. Well, uh, we're going to be going through the collection. I'm going to have to record the collection at home, but maybe we'll uh, do a little recording during the game. Hey, there you go. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys, it's the next morning after the game. I didn't unload this last night when I got home because it was crazy late. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six long boxes. One, two, three, four, five, and I already brought three short boxes in, so that's eight. And then there's a little bag of slabs, nothing too, too, too crazy, but we're going to go over everything. And uh, now i got to bring everything into the garage. All right, guys, since I have to look through some of these boxes at home, I figured, you know what, let's just get into it. This is for Sunfire. Uh, yeah, I was rushing. We were all rushing when we were going through these boxes before the game. 96, first Moira. 99, 100, 102, 103, 405, 06, 7, 10, 11, 12. Let's move these. Move a big chunk. Here we go. That should help. Huh? There we go. 13. 15, 16, 17, 19, 20. That's the Alpha Flight. Some Phoenix stuff. Not the highest grade. Dazzler. Doom cover. We're going to get into some Copper Age stuff. We're in the 80s here, guys. I come across all this 80s X-Men stuff a lot because everybody from that time period, everyone from that era that was collecting, collected X-Men and read X-Men. Everyone. Literally everyone. It's it's crazy. Very rare that I have an 80s, a collection from the 80s that doesn't have these books in it. Sinister. The classic. 
Does the Sinister cover? No, I don't think the Sinister covers in here. Jubilee. Psylocke. Gambit. Not the highest grade loose staples, but still Gambit. Bishop. Oh, that's that Pressman book. I believe we're going to get into... Is it right? We get into like the actual... The, oh, that's the first X-23 in the title. There she is on the cover. Get into some variants over here. Starting to get now into those upper X-Men issues. Last issue, a really low grade Avengers Annual 10. And there's the Gambit cameo. And now we're into the... The 90s X-Men run, which again, if you had a 90s, there was Omega Red there. If you had a 90s collection, you had all these as well. That was a Pressman. It jumps, it does jump around a little. Phantom X. So this is the X-Men box. I think we'll go through like one other box. And then we'll get into the keys. This collection is going to take me a while to go through. It's a nice variety of stuff. One of my favorite types of collections right here. Ooh. Powers of Vex. And that's it. All right, we'll do one more box. All right, guys, so we did some X-Men. Let's get into some Batman now. There's the first Silver Age Two-Face. First Ra's al Ghul. Missing quite a bit over there, but hey, first Ra's al Ghul. And I think the first Arkham's in here, too. I thought I saw... Yeah, first Arkham. But what's cool is like this collection was organized kind of alphabetical, kind of by, oh, first Jason Todd, but that's a beat up copy. And then we've got the first Black Mask. That one looks better. So like all the Batman stuff's in a box. So Batman, Detective, all that stuff's together, which is cool. Uh, a lot of stuff, everything's bagged and boarded, but a lot of the stuff does have, this is a first print. Everything does have to be rebagged and boarded. Like this stuff's a little older. Um... You can tell like a lot of these books were either red, one of those two, or the error copy. And, uh, you know, not necessarily by the seller, but by someone. Because nothing is like the modern stuff. Some of it's really high grade, and then some of it surprisingly isn't. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a condition snob. But I kind of have to be. First Jason Todd is Red Hood. That's a nice book. First Damien, or first Damien cameo, cameo, I believe. All right, we're going to first Damien as Batman. Oh, this is that variant. I, is this the variant? Shoot, I don't remember. I have to look that one up. Uh, Batman, Batman, Batman. That's a variant. I always like this. That's a Magnolia cover. Let's see, we're rolling from Batman into Detective. <laughs> Detective Comics 258, I think that is. Missing a lot of it. 279. These are old books, guys. You know, what are, what are you going to do? Old silver stuff. Yeah, conditions aren't great, but that's fine. That's a reprint. The Toys R Us reprint. Let's see, what else we have here? First League of Assassins. I have to check that one against mine. Maybe I got some books from my personal collection here. First Modern Deadshot. First Modern Clayface. It's like a Bronze Age book. But Copper Age. Something like that. Uh, we're still going. If I remember right, there was some, some still some good stuff back here. Let's see. Year 2. First, Arco, uh, first Anarchy. First, Stephanie Brown, spoiler, I believe. First, Harley in Detective Comics. Uh, I believe this is first Gotham City Sirens. Scott Snyder on Batman, first time he wrote for him. That's the foil convention exclusive. So no Tech 880 in here. What the foil is. There's the Alex Ross. Tech 1000. 
Batman Adventures. No Batman Adventures 12, but there are some good covers in here. Batman Beyond. Not the good one, guys. Not the good one. Let's see. Is that it? First Zazz. Bane. This is the second print. Got to watch out for that one. All right. Let's pull some keys. All right, guys, we're going to talk a lot of books here. Um, hopefully you enjoyed what you saw so far. Anthony Volpe going one for four. Very nice with the double down the left field. Beautiful. A lot of fun. All right. So, okay. Uh, there is a section of books that are going to CGC, but we're going to do those last. I also, lucky, 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 you know my favorite thing about finding collections. My absolute favorite top tier thing is to find books for my personal collection. I found at least one book for my personal collection. Coolest thing in the world is it's a modern variant that I have never seen before, never knew it existed. If I had, I'd already own it, and now I do. It's off to CGC. The last the last set of books we're going to talk about are the ones off to CGC, but before we do, we're going to talk about other keys. Now, this seller, awesome dude, amazing dude, absolute sweetheart. Great guy to talk to. We were talking comics and keys and this and that. And you're going to see a large amount of variants. And I don't know how this guy did it. But he hit on a lot of the bigger variants before variants really were a big deal. Big ratio variants in a time period when it wasn't common. The only downfall with this collection is the condition of the modern books. Silver, bronze, hey, you're gonna find low and mid grade when you find high grade, be thankful. Awesome, it happens, right? They're older books. When it comes to the moderns, I don't know about you, but I'm expecting over 9.4 grade. That's what I'm doing with the modern stuff. And unfortunately, as I go through this list, you're gonna be like, why aren't you sending that to CGC? Why aren't you sending that to CGC? It's all about the condition. Even when I get down to some of the Silver Age stuff, you're going to be like, ooh, that's a big book. Why aren't you sending that to CGC? Condition. The grades are too low. So to me, there's not enough value in it to send it to CGC. I'd rather just sell the book raw and whatever I get, I get. And we move on. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to start off with some Wolverine books. First one, Wolverine 311. Again, this is a variant, and I believe it was a ratio variant in a time before that was very common. Uh, awesome cover. Great book, not CGC worthy based on the grade. Another Wolverine book, this is 310. And guys, we're gonna go fast because there's a lot to talk about. Next up, we have two Deadpool 45s, both variants, again, not CGC worthy. Next book, I was going back and forth whether or not to send, it's a hot book. Now, remember, the entire market, the entire comic book market is dropping. It's leveling off, it's coming back down to earth. However, there are some books that aren't dropping as much as others. This is one of them. Heir to the Empire, number one, this is that first thrown. He will be showing up in the Ahsoka show on Disney+, Plus, which I'm very excited for. I don't know about you, I'm really looking forward to Ahsoka. I loved Obi-Wan Kenobi. I thought it was phenomenal. A little bit of fluff in the middle. Some characters not so great. But overall, I did love the show. I'm very excited for Ahsoka. Moving on to another variant. This is Hulk number one. This is that Red Hulk. Um, hard to find ratios, right? Next up, a Spawn 228. This is an Action Comics 1 homage. This is a book that I think hits somewhere between 2 and 250 and a 9.8, which is why I'm not sending it to CGC because it's not going to hit that. Next up, DC Comics presents 47 First He-Man and Skeletor in comics. Yes, the old toys did have small mini comics with them, but this is like, you know, first in comics. Love this book. Love this book. I have it in 9.6. Hoping for to find a 9-8 in the wild, I will. I'm going to will it to happen. I'm going to just, it's going to happen. I will find a raw DC Comics Presents 47, and I will submit it to CGC, and we will get a 9.8. But until then, I'm going to have to keep the 9-6. This one, not even close, but I do love finding this book. Uh, next up, Canto number one. Canto has a huge following. This is the San Diego Comic-Con variant. Huge following. Uh, amazing Spider-Man now. This is 654. This is the second print. This book, I do find every now and again. Never do I find it in a 9.4 or better. Never. I don't know why. Can't tell you. Maybe bad luck for me. Maybe the people who have the high grades are keeping them. Maybe they all got damaged. I have no idea. 
Next up, Amazing Spider-Man 316. We've seen this book a million times in my videos. This is the first Venom cover, kind of. You know, he does have the floating head in the Hydro Man cover. Uh, classic McFarlane cover, but there's a little trick to this one. It is a Mark Jewelers, which is crazy. Never found one before. Um, I'm sure I've come across a lot of Mark Jeweler insert books. However, I don't check. I do the keys. I check the keys, but not the regular stuff. Uh, next up, this is, we'll go DC a little bit. Oh no, one more Marvel book, uh, Hulk 340. This is that classic McFarlane cover. Uh, now, look, a whole little run of McFarlane in there. All right, now let's do a little bit of DC. We're going to flip back and forth and back and forth. I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm talking fast, but I am because there's a lot to go through. Uh, Mad Love. Nice book. Book I have sent to CGC before. Unfortunately, not this one. Followed up with, these two seem to go hand in hand. Batman, Harley Quinn. This is the first Harley Quinn in DC continuity. Yes, Batman Adventures 12 is the first Harley Quinn. However, this, again, first DC continuity. First in continuity. Uh, okay, next two books. Sad about these two books. Uh, first one, Marvel Now, point one. Number one, first Kamala Khan. Mm, not not even like a 9092. And the what hurts more is the next one, which is the second print. This this was actually worth more than the first print. Why? Significantly less out there. And the same goes for this book. Not high grade. All right. Ultimate Fallout 4. This is the second print variant. Of course, not going. Uh, Superior Spider-Man 24 variant. Awesome cover. Awesome book. Moving on. Secret Wars number eight. This is the origin of the black suit magnificent miss marvel number one variant i believe this is a ratio whether it's a one in 10 one in 25 or one in 50 why is it a big book because nobody bought that many that many of this book so the ratio is hard to hit who's ordering 25 copies of magnificent miss marvel number one and again it comes back to this seller nailed a lot of these variants he picked the right ones now whether he bought all of them which he didn't since i bought all of his books uh he just hit on a lot of the right ones. Werewolf by Night 33. This is the second Moon Knight. Next up, Nova number one. And again, guys, you've seen me send these books to CGC. These aren't going. Next up is one of my favorite spec books, one of my favorite books out there. You all should know it by now. This is Fantastic Four Annual Number Six. First Annihilus, first Franklin Richards. This is an annual book from the 60s, square bound, hard to get in high grade. Why aren't I sending this one out? A lot of tape on the cover. Not even going to waste my time. Forever People, number one. Dark Side Appearance. First Dark Side, kind of not really. The Jimmy Olsen, 134, is the Dark Side book to own. Uh, Werewolf by Night, number one. No, it is not Werewolf by Night's first appearance, but it is his first in title. Very nice. Okay, some Silver Surfer. Now, I know you've seen me send these before. Silver Surfer, number three. First Mephisto. This book, too low of a grade for me to want to send it uh, and followed up with Silver Surfer number one. Now, it would have been nice to have a Silver Surfer number four in there. That's that classic Thor Surfer cover, but uh, no luck. Next up, Strange Tales 169. This is the first Brother Voodoo, another book that is just, I don't know if plummeted is the right word, but ever since Multiverse of Madness, it has come down significantly. Still a great book. The next one, however, has not come down as much as a lot of the other ones. And I think there's some spec behind this. And usually where there's smoke, there's fire. A lot of rumors, a lot of behind the scenes kind of talk. This is X-Men 64. This is the first appearance of Sunfire. Don't be surprised if Sunfire is the within the first team of the X-Men when they do hit the big screen. Um, he may be a part of the first team. He, I, I could be wrong, uh, but he may be involved. Aquaman 29. This is the first Ocean Master. Let's do some Silver Age Amazing Spider-Man. Just a couple. ASM 39. I think this is the uh, where Goblin and Spidey learn each other's identities. I'm not positive, but it is a classic cover. And Amazing Spider-Man 33. This is that classic Ditko. Again, I keep repeating myself. Not going to CGC. Hulk 102. This is the first in title after you know Hulk 1 through 6. Uh, big premiere issue. Next, Hulk 182. This is the second cameo of Wolverine. Big chunk out of the bottom left on the spine. Uh, all right. Four Batman books to talk about before we talk about the CGC books. First up, Batman 171. First appearance of Riddler. Again, too low for me to send off. Big key. Very nice. Probably the biggest book in the collection. 
Next up, Tech 405. I'm sorry, Detective Comics 405. First appearance of the League of Assassins. Staying in that same genre, Batman 232. First appearance of Ra's al Ghul. Love this book. Love this cover. Neil Adams at his best. And of course, Batman 234. Some more Neil Adams. This is the first Silver Age Two-Face. Now, with all that being said, none of those books are going to CGC. All right? None of them. The following all are, and they're all moderns. They're currently at Erod's right now, getting cleaned and pressed. If you guys need a clean impressor, check the description down below. I have Erod's email in there. Just let them know I sent you. First up, Champions number one. This is the Alex Ross variant. Some value in there. I, th- I almost want to say this is a one in 100, but that doesn't even seem right. It might be like a one in 50. Deadpool, Secret, Secret Wars. This number, is this two, three? Anyway, it's the first lady, Deadpool. Uh, Batman, 679 variant. This one I'm on the fence about keeping. We're going to see what it comes back as because I am, of course, a conditioned snob when it comes to these modern stuff. So we'll see. Uh, Secret Wars number one. I forgot what variant this is. Some store. It's not a GameStop, I don't think. I think it's a store. Is it a GameStop? I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Spider-Man number 12 variant. This is just a great cover. This is probably going to be 9294, but I just love the cover. Not an easy book to find. And the next one is also a difficult book to find. Spider-Man 2, number one variant. Spider-Man 2, I'm sorry. Number one variant. Uh, Now, we're going to talk two spawn books. Both of them sketch variants. Both of them, I believe, ratios. 235 and 233. Awesome covers. Excited to get these back, really. As soon as they get back, I'm sending these things off to CGC. Hopefully, we have them in time for New York Comic Con. Black Adam number one variant. I've sent this out a number of times, and I just get roadblocked at the 9496 grade. Never had a 9.8. Here's the scary thing. Another book. If this thing hits 9.8, I may keep it. I love this cover. The next one, I always hit 9.8. Now that I probably jinx myself. This is Amazing Spider-Man number four. This is the first Silk. I have always hit 9.8 on this book, I believe. I believe. It's crazy. That and New Mutants 87, first cable. I don't know why. Amazing Spider-Man 210. This is the oldest book that we're sending out. This is the first Madam Web. I'm okay with a 9.0 or better on that book. Hulk 14 variant. Again, these ratio variants. Uh, Amazing Fantasy 15, first Amadeus Cho. No, not the AF15. This is uh, volume two. I think it's a volume two, right? A thicker book. This is not a 9.8. It's a difficult book to get in a 9.8 because it's so thick. So she said, let's go Batman 89. First punchline. Need a 9.8 in that book. Sensational She-Hulk 34. That it was at the Vanity Fair cover. Is that what this one is? I don't remember. The uh, what's her name cover? Ah, somebody will put it in the comments. Superior Spider-Man 22. Another ratio. And last but not least. The book I am keeping, regardless of the grade, I have never found this, never knew it existed. It has to stay with me. This is Wolverine number eight variant. This is, if you got all you Zelda fans out there, this is an homage to the to the death, right? When you lose in Zelda, it was either part one or part two. It's part one. This is an homage to that. Um, Never seen this before. Didn't even know it existed. 100% keeping this book, regardless of the grade. Awesome. So that's all the stuff. Now, when I add up all the retail to this, I get, well, I don't even want to tell you before I, let's guess the price. Let's guess the price. Ready? I'm going to give you the five seconds. Um, Five, four, three, two, one. What did we guess? This collection cost me $5,000. All these books retail, not the ones going to CGC, but all the other stuff retail for a about 6,000 if it's full retail. Is there enough here to double up, which is always our goal? Maybe. It's a risk. Now, I do have a lot of boxes of $10 plus books that need to be bagged, boarded, priced, and put into the boxes for shows. Uh, King Con, New York Comic Con, upcoming shows, and then Icon in November. So we have September, October, November. So this is a slow burn collection. There is no big book to get 20%, even 10% of the cost. It's not in here. It's not going to happen. This is a slow burn. Are all of these books going to sell? Probably not. Are they, and the ones that are going to sell, are they going to sell for full retail? Usually not. So uh, it's going to be a slow burn. There will be money to be made. It is going to take a long time. But what's really cool is there's a huge variety. This is like one of my favorite. This collection basically had everything for me, right? 
you had a little silver, a little bronze, a little modern, a little bit of variance, and a book for me. It had everything. It was great. Uh, a lot of work, but that's okay. It's fun. Um, that's it. La that's it. That's the whole collection. That's the whole video. I'm sorry it ran so long, but I really wanted to give you guys a good idea of what came in here. There are, again, several boxes of $10 plus books, bags, board, priced, and that's it. So before I get out of here, big shout out again to the Volpe family. Thank you so much for another wonderful experience. Uh, don't forget to hit me up on all the social medias. Leave a comment, hit the thumbs up, share the video if you want. And as always, keep it comics.